Now, in this video, we're going to model multiplication using the chip model and the charge field model. Okay, let's take an example. Let's zoom in here so we can see a little better. Okay, let's take an example like 2 times negative 3. All right, so this says take two rows of negative 3. So if I used my chip model, okay, then I'd have negative 3, and I'd have two rows of it. So two rows of negative 3, and then just count up my negatives, and I would have negative 6. And if I looked at the charge field model, I would have two rows of negative 3, which would be 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3. And then I count up my negatives, and I would get negative 6. Okay? I could have three rows. Oh, I don't want to do negative 8. Let's do negative 4. Three rows of negative 4. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4. I have 1, 2, 3, 4. And I have 1, 2, 3, and 4. And when I count up those negatives, I have negative 12. And the same thing here. I have three rows of negative 4. Okay, my phone kept ringing and I apologize. So we have with the charge model, uh, the charge field model then, I have four rows, uh, three rows, I'm sorry, oh, of negative 4. And when I count up my negatives, I end up with 12 negatives, so my answer would be negative 12.